Today, I'm going to tell you all about using white liquid glue. First, open the glue. You need to twist the orange cap. When it is closed, there's a little white plastic part that sticks out of the nozzle. It should disappear when the glue is open. You will also notice that the colored nozzle has a gap before the cap. Sometimes there is dried glue that needs to be picked off, but most of the time, it is just the inside of the cap. When your glue is open and not clogged, you should be able to hear it breathe. Be careful not to twist the white cap of the glue. Oh boy, that could make a disaster. When you are gluing your project together, make small, itty bitty dots of glue. It is tempting to make lines and watch the glue drip and drip and drip into a puddle, but that has some consequences. One, being a huge mess. It might seem like the little dots of glue are not sticking. Look, I can peel it right off. That's because the glue has to dry. It might take several hours. Now it's dry and I cannot peel it off. If you make a huge messy puddle or your glue lines get out of control, your project will not stick any better and will just take a lot longer to dry. Plus, when it does dry, it gets super crusty and wrinkly. That is not good craftsmanship. It could ruin the rest of the hard work you have put into your project. If your baby dots of glue still ooze out, you can just leave it since it will dry clear or use a piece of scrap paper to wipe it away. Tissues and paper towels will probably rip and stick to your project. Using liquid glue carefully is also important in case you still have to use marker or color on your project. Even with baby dots, it could be hard to draw over the paper when the glue is still wet. Do not even attempt it if you have a huge puddle. That will ruin the marker for sure. Waiting till your project is completely dry is the best. If you have a crusty, wrinkly paper though, the marker tends to highlight that area. When you are done, always close your glue bottle. Closing the glue is the best way to make sure it doesn't dry out in the cap and cause a clog. If the nozzle is gluey, wipe it off. And that is how you use liquid glue. Good luck, thanks for watching.